What's up everyone? Hope you guys have been doing well. Uh, I just woke up, now packing up. Morning, man. Hey, good morning, bro. Doing a vlog intro too. Did you get to sleep? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but <clears throat> Jordy was snoring all the time. Is it bad? Yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty yeah. bad, yeah. Packing up early. It kind of sucks that we always come to the Airbnb around like 10 p.m. And by 12 midnight, we go to sleep and then we wake up at 6 in the morning. We really don't have any time to experience the Airbnb. And that's just the life of the Urbex road trips. So what's the plan for today? Mm. What's the plan, Mo? A Russian farm. Russian After farm, that, okay. at a castle, a sanitary, maybe. Okay. Depends on the time she do, but mm, yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna drive a pretty far away to the to the castle district fair for tomorrow. The alchemist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sweet. Bye bye dog. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, so we're gonna be splitting up. These three guys will be doing their own thing. And him and I we're gonna be going to the alchemist. I will guide you. He's gonna guide me. He's been there before. Yeah, yeah, I've been there before. They've already been there before too, and that's why they're splitting up. So yeah, yeah. we want to do the other one as well, otherwise it's not possible. We yeah. have not enough time to do like, yeah, everything. So right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. make sure she's in line. Yep. Two spots? <laughs> huh? Have fun. Oh. Jump will have fun. <laughs> All right guys, so we just made it inside this abandoned millionaire's mansion, also known as Chateau Alchemist. Um, Everything is still intact. This place is an incredible place and it's the highlight of this road trip that we've been doing. Well, at least one of them. This is probably gonna be one of the best places of this series. So I'm really happy that I'm here. What's the history on this place? Do you know Raymond? Um, yeah, I know she, it was a lady and she was a, yeah, she was studying, studying chemistry okay. and she was also studying biology okay. because there is a really cool feature. Yeah. yeah. I hope it's still here, but we will see it. We will see it. Yeah. Do you know the years of like when she lived here? No, not exactly. But I, I thought she left like something from nineteen eighties, something like that. Okay. So she probably lived from nineteen hundred till nineteen eighties. And do you know when this place was abandoned? Uh, it got abandoned since nineteen ninety, something like wow. that. Okay. So it's a really long time ago. Yeah, it's a really long time ago and everything here is still in pristine condition for the past 20 years. This just shows how much like no one knows this spot at all. It's such a rarity, but that's how we do it. We just hit the best of the best. So if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification button bell, smash that thumbs up button and let's get on with the adventure. These artworks, this could have been them, the people that lived here. And this book, it looks like it could have been something about the history of France. We've been going to a lot of abandoned houses just like this. And I've been seeing a lot of old radios, but this one stands out the most. We have another painting here, but it's like covered with mold now. Could have been her again. Maybe she's been getting a lot of paintings of herself. Whoa, I've never seen this before. Oh. Don't want to break anything, so keep like that. But that's something you haven't seen in ages. Oh, this is nice, though. I never seen such an old phone in inside an abandoned building. Check out those buttons and the dials. It looks like they love Japan too. This thing, they're wearing kimonos, and this wooden box is very Japanese. Nothing inside. And there's another old lantern right here. We just got done up this side of the building. Um, we're still on the first floor. There's one more room over here that I think you guys will enjoy. I took a peek. All her stuff are just left here. Of when she was studying alchemy and biology, I believe. 
this is her old microscope. I'm, I'm very fascinated by like biology, chemistry, and alchemy especially. Not a lot of people know alchemy nowadays, but it's such a very old thing to study. Even like back in Egyptian times, they would study alchemy, and I'm fascinated by it. Here's a book, and I believe it's something that she used to study because all the um, elements are here, magnesium, and you can see some ingredients too. Whoa. Actually, what's really nice to see is that they knew all this stuff back in the days, so. Yeah. They actually knew a lot back in the days. Yeah, you know what's weird is like, like stuff that we're learning now, we're, we're going back to the past yeah, to learn yeah, about. Yeah. So it's, it's strange. It's really crazy feeling, man. Yeah. And I think alchemy is like all about transmuting stuff yeah. and turning them into something else. I wish I can read it, but it's in French. Wow. Now yeah, look, there's still chemicals. I wonder if we can uh, make a magic potion. <laughs> If we understood the book, we can create something right now. I wish there were labels so we knew what kind of liquids were in here. Are there some labeled? Oh wait, this one's labeled. Oh yeah, this one definitely is. Microbiology. Physiology. Thymol solvent. I wouldn't open it, man. I don't know what to breathe. No, no, I won't breathe it. Show them this. Whoa. Damn, it's still like liquidy. Yeah. Yeah, she has another desk just filled with stuff as well. And there's another book of alchemy right here. It's been a while since I used these flasks. Take a look at this flask right here. Didn't it broke? No, it didn't. No, it didn't break. Just a piece fell. This is to get something uh, concentrated, you know? Yeah. Get the pores right over here and then they will get concentrated out of here right and what is actually pretty cool is with these ones back in the days you had to do it like with your mouth and nowadays you just put a pipette on it mm -hmm. and you just suck it but back in the days you had to do it with their mouth so if they soak too hard yeah they would get the stuff inside oh yeah this, that would be nasty it, it, yeah there's more of them here And this machine, the spiral meter. Huh. Yeah, I'm really not sure what this could have been, but if you know, leave a comment down below. Look at these rocks though. What if they could be like special rocks? And we have another flask filled with something. Because we went here two months before and there was this big uh, wallpaper with real butterflies and real moths. I hope no one stole it. I think so, man. I really think that someone stole it. That sucks, but yeah, yeah. here's some footage of it right now. A butterfly collection. What? Man, look, there's thousands of real butterflies. Well, that I hope like people like came here to just retrieve it and keep it safe because over here in this room it seems like they're working on stuff it, it wasn't like this before Raymond right no no definitely wasn't like this before yeah they weren't bags here and so I guess maybe people are trying to clean the place up now hopefully um, people that have rights to this property still they took the moss and the butterfly collection yeah hopefully yeah that, that would be nice so we kind of came here on the right time as well like this place is soon gonna be gone at least we're like one of the first to document it yeah 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 Beautiful. so yeah okay um is there any more rooms in this floor not on this floor yeah but no all right we'll upstairs. head upstairs then be
another thing that's missing um there used to be a sculpture right here a very beautiful one i'll show you the footage from raymond yeah they used to look like that and now it's gone it's like a case for an instrument or a guitar yeah it's empty yeah there's um, some more old things right next to here some old teapots looks like uh, some painting can't make off of it and large vases That's pretty neat. Yeah, let's take a look at this side of the wall. The stairway is like falling apart and breaking apart. It's actually because a tree yeah. fell right through. A tree fell right through this? Yeah. Is it gone though? No. Yeah, oh, I wait, wait, I see the tree. Yeah. Is that part of it? This is part of the tree, man. Was the whole entire tree like blocking it before? Yeah. So they took it, they cut it or something. And you can see uh, over here is another part of it. Yeah. Something definitely smashed through. Mm -hmm. That's one thing for sure. Yeah, something really hard. But um, the architecture kept up with it. So you can kind of see how well this place was built. We're gonna enter this room. We're now on the second floor. Wow, this is such a beautiful hallway. I think uh, we'll work our way down yeah. from over here. So this is the first room of the second floor we're gonna be exploring. And already everything is just as if time stopped in here. Unbelievable. I've been loving this trip so far. We've been hitting so many spots that's just pristine and as if time stopped nothing really in this cabinet what's that I don't really want to touch it these seem pretty brand new I wonder why these are here well, since they're new maybe we can kind of see a date of when this place was roughly abandoned I'm not seeing a date on this. Wait, I found a date. December 2010. Oh, actually, that's a pretty. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like nine years ago. Yeah. It's pretty strange because we didn't saw a television right here. Mm -hmm. Only this old radio. That was the only electronics over here. Yeah, it's kind of strange. Huh? Yeah, it's re they were really vintage persons. They didn't Probably. like. Probably. The, yeah, they didn't like the new technology over here. Yeah, there's some books here. Not sure what this could have been. But if you notice, the floor is made of wood, wooden planks. This carpet it looks like it was hand woven. And what the heck? It's. It's a, a fox? I don't know what kind of animal this could have been. There's no face on it. I think they had a pet bird here. And here's a picture. I think it's the town that we're in. It's a nice chair. Seems very cushiony. And whoa, this table is made of marble. Just noticed this on the wall. That could have been a sketch of her or one of her family members. I mean, these paintings are so nice in the band buildings because it's as we can kind of see a glimpse of what they really cherish the most. I mean, this place right here in the picture could have been uh, a place that she lived before, a lake that she used to go to and loved. Seems like she has a collection over here. It's quite hidden. It's a good thing I caught this. 
think they're um, some perfume bottles. This could have been a, a bird feeder. Maybe she left water for the bird. And here's a nice painting. It's not even open yet. I think there's a CD in here with music. Yo, Raymond. Yo. You won't believe this. What? There's a secret door. Ooh, it's actually a pretty big room. Is this a secret room? Yeah. What? Yeah, this is huge. This is incredible, guys. It's really a secret room. And she definitely had a pet bird. Look at this. Oh, yeah. The nest. There's drawings on the walls. She was quite the artist too. And these could have been her artwork. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is good for the YouTube, but I'm gonna blow this out. Yeah, we better blur this. What is inside of But I think nudity used as art is okay. But yeah, this is so sick. It's like this is the room where she would come relax and create some art. Yeah. I'm pretty sure these are her paintings too. Cause look at this. There's um an art stand, and I bet she would just paint f for hours on it. She'd probably get a blank canvas and paint. But actually, I think this was some pretty hard work. Yeah, it must have taken a lot of hours to make. This is incredible. <laughs> These could have been her friends used as subjects. Hmm. You never Maybe. know. This is a, a neat little heater right here. I don't think it's um, it's powered by electricity. I don't, know. I don't see no cables. So you probably put some wood inside and light it up. Yeah. This is an album. Oh dude, it's an album. Let's see if we can find some pictures. Oh, it's empty. Oh man. I'm just loving this entire exploration, guys. And I hope you guys are too. If you are, don't forget to leave the thumbs up. It helps a lot. Starting with this. It's just wow. Bro. That's <laughs> that's so grand looking. Perfectly intact. What do you guys think of this bed? Some ribbons. So we got four little wooden chairs here. A really nice fireplace made of marble. And wow, those are beautiful bottles. I'm not 
sure what that could have been. It could have been uh, for a candle. Yeah, this is really nice. Feels weird. Here's a statue. It's kind of freaky because the head's cut off. This is a nice little table. If you guys recognize the places in these picture frames, leave a comment. Because I'm curious to know where they are. They look absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Le Cup de Bone. Dude, that looks so sick to go to. I'm going to search that when I get home. There's another painting. Rue de la Ville de Naples. These could have been places that she went to as well. Wow. This is made of stone. Yeah, just stay here, Raymond, because I'm kind of scared of the force. Actually, what the heck? Yo, she had another laboratory here. I wonder what she would work on in, in this room. Because these are actually the volume pipettes. It aren't the floss, but it's the volume pipettes. Okay. So, so she would like to bin in water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe bin in water or bin in all the chemicals over here. Oh, yeah. Good point. There's a lot of them. Some bottles still have things inside. If you recognize any of them and what they're for, just leave a comment. You may want to pause the screen if I'm going too fast. Okay, there is still something. Oh, no, it's what? just. A... Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I definitely recognize this. What's wait. that for? I'll put everything back right in a minute, but I will show you. These mm -hmm. are plates for microbiology. So you have this, uh, actually this feeding area on it, and then you put microbiology on it to grow. You breed it at yeah, a hot temperature. So if uh, the, the microbiology likes the hot temperature, mm -hmm. they will grow. And this is something to place them in, you know? Okay. Just if they had a big stove, they will place this this one completely full and then just put it like that in the stove. Ah. So they won't get so they won't get out, you know? See? Yeah. Okay. And nowadays they still use this one, so definitely some invention from the past. That's awesome. There's other ones here too that are not that smaller. big. Yeah, but they're longer. I guess they're, they're used for different sizes. 
Maybe that thing had something to do with um, the stuff too. The machine right there on the right. Yeah, it actually says Ampere. Maybe it, it was used to heat something. I don't, I don't know. know, man. I actually don't know what this was used for. This is another, another microscope. It's kind of different though. Maybe, wait. It was used to observe whatever she would put inside there. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad it's all like dirty. Yeah, yeah, wait. Maybe I can wipe it so you can see it properly, but... Just just don't touch your face. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe, maybe there's still some microbiology right now on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Antoinette. Sounds very familiar. That's a famous person, right? Yeah, I think so, but... You know, you're not sure? No, I'm not sure. The man. name rings the bell. <laughs> um, over here we got Luis the Seas. They look like they're... They look royalty. Some other volume pipettes. They're closed though. Yeah. So, so, so No, no, no. The reason why they are closed is because... You, you know what I told before? Yeah. They had to do it with their mouth. Right. And this is just to make sure that nothing from the stuff that you put inside comes oh. in your mouth. Okay. So that was the first safety they had. It's a long suitcase. Yeah, and it's still open. Bro, is that a bone? Yeah, there's a bone inside. Oh, disgusting. But why would a bone be in here? In a I don't know, it's tiny, but it doesn't look like a chicken bone either. No, we know she was a chemistry and a biology studying, but... She could have been <laughs> studying something else. <laughs> she could have used some pro projects, but I really don't want to know. Let's move along though, this, that was a disturbing find, but this place is beautiful. Wait, over there is another chest. Oh God. <laughs> Maybe there's a complete body. Oh my god. Okay, let's <laughs> open it up. No bones. Okay, well that's Locked. good. That's a good sign. Oh well. Oh, it's the French football team. Oh. Yeah, there's some more vases here and flasks and looks like a, a mug. Another painting that she made too. Very beautiful painting. And this wall is different. It's made of brick. Um, yes, yeah, every room had their own fireplace, it seems. Literally every room. Yeah. And isn't this one also of marble? Yeah, seems like it. We've been finding a lot of female paintings that are of nudity, but I, I think it's great that she was open-minded. Um, I think back in the day, they'd, they'd be close-minded about these type of stuff, but she was, she was embracing her uh, feminine side a lot. So yeah, I respect her. That's an amazing picture. I don't think she made it herself. It doesn't look like a painting. It looks like just a photo that's framed up. Let's continue on. Yeah. And I think this will be the last bedroom. Be careful with our steps. Yeah, the uh, the floor is kind of shifting. It's like that part right there is kind of lower. This this could have been the main bedroom. She For the could man and the woman itself. Yeah. Here's a picture. Could have been her. Possibly. Yeah, if this is the main bedroom, like, I'm sure you would have a photo of yourself, so. This is probably how she looks like. Wow, I, I, I love this 
cabinet though. Like I love how there's a mirror here. That's convenient in the bedroom. Yeah, it's a really nice bathroom. Could have been another photo frame of her. As it looks like. Eh. Eh. Can't really tell because she's wearing a hat in this one. Yeah. Wait, I'm going to risk it. I really want to see if it was her. Is there a name on it? No, it doesn't have a name on it, but she looks really familiar to that one. Okay. So I definitely think it was her. So we're almost done here with the video. We just got the attic to check out. Actually, it's a complete collection. Yeah, of hers. Here are some more. Wow. She definitely made these. Mm -hmm. Maybe these are like their... Uh, the pro the project that didn't go that well at all. You or know? maybe could it be. Or maybe she just had a bunch of them, yeah. all stocked up here. Also possible. And there's a picture of the guy again. Could have been her husband. Yeah. We just reunited with the squad. We are back in action. The place was incredible. So. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It's like one of the best. It's one of the best, yeah. Dude, I it gave was it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> but yeah. someone took the butterflies. Really? No. It, it someone wasn't in took the wall. The butterflies anymore. and the sculpture of the woman. When really? I was there two weeks ago, that was still there. Yeah. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Damn. No, three weeks but ago. But it's getting more yeah. popular and popular. But in so. another room, there were bags. So we might think people yeah, are cleaning people the place working. up now. Damn. Probably yeah. because they're getting more and more people. So yeah. So yeah. you're lucky that you could film it. We're yeah. lucky. Right here, guys. We're right in time. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we do it. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for making it this far to the end. And if you did enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification button bell, and leave your comments and thoughts down below. Yeah. We're just meeting up again, and we're going to be exploring a lot more spots today. And I think tomorrow is going to be the last day of the road trip with Bros of the Canics Blomo Urbex. So I hope you guys have been following along. It's been quite the adventure and it's been really, really fun exploring with them. So yeah, I want you guys to stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out, hope you guys live a life of freedom and wonder. Boom.